Hello and welcome to a review for Nendroid number 952 02 from Darling in the Franks. So today we have a Nendroid that I'm very excited to take a look at uh, actually. As it happens this was actually bought to me for my birthday. Uh, it's been an Android I've kind of had my eyes on for a while but I never really pulled the trigger until someone else or a group of friends actually did together and honestly I'm, I'm incredibly excited to get into this. So uh, this is a re-release, I do believe. I think this came out around the airing, obviously, of Darling and the Franks, um, which has been a few years now, and I think Nendroids are above the thousand mark. So it's not an old Nendroid, but, you know, it's it, it's something that had a re-release. So we're going to take a look. We'll take a look at the box first, and then we'll get into actually taking a look at her. So on the front, we've got, obviously, 0202 there. Uh, on the side, we've got some pictures. We've got her kind of looking a bit nonplussed. Her looking, uh, just giving that amazing uh, smile, that grin that she has. I, I think I'm probably going to be displaying her with that grin. It's just, it, it's it's so cute. Uh, there's her looking thoughtful, and there is her, and that is another thing I'm really excited about with this Nendroid. She's got the outfit from, um, I can't remember the group she was originally in before she joined... Uh, with her darling in the other group, but the, she's got the like elite uh, outfit, which I'm really hyped for. I love when androids come with like a secondary outfit that you can switch them up because it really like is like having two different androids, really. So, and here's a quick look at the back. There's her being all Sundae and stuff, and I think we've seen those other shots on the side. So yeah, and that's the top there. Uh, ah, there we are. There she, there she is grinning. So. I'm going to go ahead now and unbox her, and then we'll take a look at the details and stuff, and then we'll get into the montage. So, B-R-B. Alright, I've opened her up and laid out all of the little extras that come with her as well. So, we're going to go take a look at these extras, and then her herself in detail as well. And I'll sort of do the photo montage and stuff. So, uh... There are a lot of things that come with her. I didn't expect I didn't expect quite this much to be honest. So we'll first take a look at she does have two arms. So these are kind of neutral arms. Uh, there's space to put the hands there. So these are kind of more straight down kind of ones. I think they're specifically meant to go under here, maybe. Um because they're like very straight. Um although those are similar as well, but you know, I'll I'll sort of mess with it during the photo ops and stuff, so I'll work out exactly what they're for. Uh, next, we have her more like Sundae ones. These are her arms for putting on her hips, or I guess maybe you could cross them, but I don't think so. Uh, I think these are meant to, you know, be slightly pouty uh, for her pouty poses and stuff. Uh, and of course, with those straight arms and these arms here as well, there are a few different hands. So, as you can see, there's that with this kind of palm out. So I guess if you want to put the hand forward, it looks like she's putting her, you know, hand out. And same for... Oh wait, no. This is a different one. Hang on, sorry. So this is for holding something. And you'll see what it is exactly she'll be holding in a second. This is picking my finger up as a face for some reason. Okay, thank you, camera. Uh, and, of course, the third one, then, is... Oh, that's also for holding something. Okay, cool. So, she has two right hands for holding something, I guess? Uh, yeah, so two different kind of sizes of things, as you will see in a second. She's also got an interesting one. I haven't seen a pose on the box of this one. But it's two hands clasped together, as if she's, like, stretching... So I guess maybe she can, like, put her hands out and look like, you know, she's ready to to attack or something. Uh, I guess that she is kind of a bit of a violent character. So uh, she's also got two incredibly cute little, um, little extras. So this is the more open holding hand, and this is a piece of meat. Obviously, she is part dinosaur. She loves her meat, so this is kind of... Bacon, uh, kind of? I guess it's bacon, or it looks very similar anyway. So she can hold that and obviously be holding it as if she's going to eat. And this might be the smallest uh, extra I've ever seen of the Nendroid. It's a lollipop. 
because uh, she likes those as well. So it's hard to uh, to really give you a shot of all of it because this is so tiny. But yeah, there you go. It's a green lollipop with like a white stick. So I'm going to put that there and hope I don't lose it. Um, there's also, as well, very handily, there's a spare horn, uh, if you can see there. I think that's a spare horn, anyway. Uh, I think it's meant to go, you know, with her horns there. Just in case one pops out, I mean, hopefully that'll never happen, but you never know. Uh, we also have two just useful things. We have a spare neck or head joint, which is always good. And we have an extension for the uh, stand that she's currently plugged into. And this obviously is to make it so it can go through the back of her coat there. So that's always good to have as well. Now we also get two faces. So this is the more kind of somber, thoughtful face that she's kind of, you know, looking, looking wil wil wiltily. Uh, that's not a word. What am I thinking of? I don't know. I'll come back to it. And that is the best face. That's her grinning and just sort of... That's cute. Um, as I said, I'm definitely going to be displaying her with that face because that... It's so adorable. Uh, Zero Two, despite the fact she is, of course, very lewd in the series. You know, I, I really like her. I think she's genuinely a very cute character. Uh, so we've got the hat as well, which is incredibly detailed. This is very nice. That's inside. You do literally just put it on her head, but I think you have to take the horns off. And that's just because the horns will rub inside of this. You know, you don't want either of them losing paint. But it has the, like, silver finish, which is really nice as well. Along with that, like, band that they have over the hat. And, of course, we have the cape or the cloak which I'm very impressed with. So, I mean, we got some details, you know, in, inside, sort of. Um, but, I mean, the, cl the the coat, I guess it is. The coat looks incredible. That's the hole, obviously, for the thing. But also, the arms move. So you could have them kind of, you know, that, oh, that that's a little bit uh, thing, but no issue. But, yeah, you can have it kind of... So, obviously, these aren't her arms. She's just draping them over her shoulders. So you'll have... Her regular arms under there, which is where I think the street ones go. But yeah, yet again, this is very, very detailed, very nice. Um, I'm always happy to have extra clothes for Nendroids. And now we will take a look at Zero Two herself. So obviously, as with every Nendroid, she does come with a base. So I've just, I've not done anything with her yet. I'm just displaying her as she came straight out the package. So she has her boots as you can see, uh, very nice with her black trousers. We've got her um, her kind of uniform, her red uniform, which is very nice, very iconic uh, and stuff. She's even got some little sleeve detailing, which is very nice, uh, and along with her pink uh, tie and stuff. Yeah, well, overall this is very, very nice. This is just her generic kind of hands and arm stuff. I think you pull those off to put the cloak on or something and maybe put them on again. I don't know. Or maybe you don't. I don't actually know. Uh, so moving on up to the hair as well. The hair is really, really nice. It's got the like layers and stuff. You can see it's very straight, but it's not even, if that makes sense. Like, you know, there's, there's lots of strands going over. And it's slightly gradiented. At the bottom is a little bit darker than the top, which is kind of, you know, natural. And then we've got her face. So this is the kind of neutral face. Um, it's, you know, it's how you see her without um, Hero. It is Hero, right? The the guy that she falls in love with. Remind me in the comments below. It's It's been a few years. Um, we've got a very nice fringe. And, of course, the goods. Her demon horns, or well, her, her dinosaur horns, I guess. Uh, and I presume these come out. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to be giving that a go. Uh, I'll tell you all about the stuff that I'm not too sure about with the figure. Obviously, after the photo montage, because I'll spend a while just trying out various things. Uh, and if things are like an issue or whatever, I'll let you guys know. But talking about that montage, it is now time for me to go away and experiment with all of these different varieties. Take some photos, put us to some music, let you guys see that, um, and I'll be back in a few. So, here is the montage.
All right, we are back. So, I've taken quite a few photos, uh, sort of switched it up a little bit. I've uh, put her in her outfit as well, along with, uh, you know, trying out the different arms and stuff. Now, I will apologise from the get-go here. I didn't get a photo featuring the stretching hands uh, or the sticky-out tongue face. Now, it took me a little while to realise it was a tongue, actually. I was just looking at the eyes and thinking she was kind of sad, but uh, there is a little tongue there, which is useful for when she's eating in her eating poses. Um, so I haven't taken a photo of those, really. I would have, but honestly, this this coat is a little bit finicky to get on. It's not impossible or anything, of course, and you can take it off and put it back on or whatever, but... Because I want to display her in this, it's going to take too much time. Um, however, I mean, this has been out a while. I'm sure you can find photos of her in those configurations and stuff. So, it is time for the wrap-up. Did I think this was a good Nendroid? I thought this is probably one of my favourites. Um, it's for a few reasons, really. A, it, she she's very cute uh, in all of her poses. Even the kind of, like default slightly smug kind of look I think is you know really cool I mean so I know the default face fits her outfit obviously because she's kind of all elite and you know it's near the start of the series but I've put her in her grinning thing because I love that face and it just looks like she's kind of being smug but in a cute way um, and yeah I've, I've got to say kudos to all the little things so I mean this is adorable, the like little lollipop hand, uh, and equally the one with the meat, which I can't, ah, no, there we are. The one with the little dripping meat uh, is great as well. It's it's an android that strikes me that I'm going to have a lot of fun with every few months, like changing up her appearance and kind of her setup and stuff. Because you can get a lot done with her, she can be serious, she can be a little bit playful, she can be very cute. Yeah, it, overall there's just a lot going on, and, I, and once again, I really do love this little cloak. As I said, it's a little bit uh, sort of finicky to put on, uh, and you do have to take off her horns, as I've mentioned. The hat just kind of sticks on her head, um, there's nothing keeping it in place, so... And, you know, you can put it out like a jaunty angle, or whatever, or sort of back or forward, so... You know, however you feel like, really. It's, um, yeah. Overall, honestly, this is a really, really nice Nendroid. I love the design of Zero Two. Uh, the hair, I know I know it's sort of quote-unquote basic, I suppose, long pink hair, but I think it just works really well. Uh, and, yeah, I, I like the character a lot. I enjoyed Darling the Franks a lot. Um, I know some people didn't get on with it, and that's a shame, because uh, I thought it was really great. But that about wraps it up for my unboxing and review of Nendroid number 95202 from Darling and the Franks. Let me know if you've got her uh, in the comments below. I think they made a Nendroid Ichigo, right? Who's obviously the other girl, the blue-haired girl. I really liked her as well. I might look into getting her. I think there's a Nendroid of her. Well, could be wrong. Uh, let me know in the comments about that as well. Or if there's any others you'd recommend, kind of in this vein, I mean, I've seen a lot of anime, there's a lot of anime I haven't watched yet, so you know, I'm probably not going to get Nendroids and series I've never seen, but this is definitely uh, going to go pride and place in my Nendroid shelf. Uh, so, that about wraps it up, thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye!